Welcome to Oracle F1 channel. In this video, we are going to see Oracle 19C Top 20 SQL Query Optimization Features and Techniques Explained. The SQL Query Optimization is the overall process of choosing the most efficient way means of executing a SQL statement. SQL is a non-procedural language so the optimizer is free to merge, reorganize and process in any order. The database optimizes each SQL statement based on statistics collected about the accessed data. Here is the pictorial diagram described how the SQL query parsed and fetching and using that SQL optimizer. So the top 20 SQL query optimization technique is number one, create an index on very large tables over 10 million records. More than 1 million record results should be fine. And then number 2 use exist instead of count to find an element in the table. Number 3 select field instead of using select star. Number 4 avoid subqueries sub in where class. Number 5 avoid select distinct wherever is possible. Number 6 use where class instead of having. Number 7 create joins with inner join not where. Number 8 use limit to sample query results. Number 9 use union node instead of union wherever possible. Number 10 use union where instead of where or any other query. Number 11, run your query during off peak hours. Number 12, avoid using or in, in join queries. Number 13, choose group by over window function. Number 14, use derived and temporary tables. Number 15, drop the index before loading bulk data. Number 16, use materialized views instead of views. Number 17, not equal to operator or, or not equal to operator. Number 18, minimize the number of subqueries in the SQL statement. Number 19, try to use inner join as little as possible when you can get the same output of using left and right join. Number 20, for retrieving the same data set frequently, try to use temporary sources. Right? So, what is query optimizer? optimizer? The query optimizer, its primary function is to determine the most efficient way to execute a given SQL query by finding the best execution plan. The query works by taking the SQL query as input and analyzing to it to determine how best to execute it. The first step is to parse the SQL query and create a syntax tree. The optimizer then analyzes the syntax tree to Determine the various ways to query can be executed. Next step, the optimizer generates alternative execution plans which are different ways to executing the same query. Each execution plan specifies the order in which the table should be accessed, the join methods to use and any filtering or sorting operation to be performed. The optimizer then assign a cost to each execution plan based on factors such as the number of discretes and the amount of CPU time required to execute the query. Finally, 
the optimizer chooses the execution plan with the lowest cost as the optimal execution plan for the query. This plan is then used to execute the query at all the times. So this is the right execution plan for the lowest cost of this query. Then it will pick whenever the SQL query is running, it will go for the better execution plan with the lowest cost. Here is the mentioned that uh, the pictorial diagram like that uh, cost of this SQL execution. Next, the SQL query run in this order. So, you can, uh, whenever you are firing Excel store from table, whenever you are firing any query, the order should be uh, run as always run this SQL query in this order. So, the from and using star from star and using join and where and group by. Uh, from join it should be sources and where class it should be merged and group by it should be grouped and having it is filtered and again select it should be selected and order by it should be order that uh, statement of the query and limited limit the query so this is the SQL query order line How Oracle Optimizer works? In this pictorial diagram, you can see query to optimize, select store from employee, where job equal to manage. So, uh, this is the schema information. How to retrieve this row and possible access path, use the index or indexes there or not, and read each row and check. And then, statistics, uh, which one is faster, using index or which is reading the data, I mean disk. And which one is faster? And the statistics only one person of the employee or manager then use the index. I have a plan. So like this, this is, this is the way the Oracle optimizer works. Hope this video helpful, you guys. Thanks for watching Oracle Function.